Hello everyone, this is Shrikant Rangdol again and in this video, actually in this series of videos, we will be drawing a few conversions. So there are a total of 10 simple conversions that I have chosen and if you are able to draw these, if you are able to convert these diagrams, then I think you should be conveniently able to convert almost any isometric diagram that is given to you in the lab exams. So let us proceed with this. Let's go with the first one. Let us first have a look at what it looks like in three dimensions. So I have drawn it here, the same object, I have drawn it here in on shape. Of course, you don't have to draw in on shape because you, the main software that you will be using is going to be the AutoCAD. So you just see this object. So you can see here, this face that we have here is the cross section and the overall thickness is 40. There is no other detail beyond this, so when you see it, in actually the front view, front view has to be on this side, so it's appearing as right view here. Slight mistake, no problem. But uh, this is the front view that we need to draw, and all the measurements that you see around here, they need to be taken up. That is, open AutoCAD and start drawing it. Okay, so I have opened AutoCAD, and here we see these are the commands we'll be using here. So let us start first with the uh, XY line, which is a horizontal line. Make sure you have enabled. You have enabled the ortho mode when you are drawing this horizontal line and then I have to proceed to draw these lengths so first up I will draw this horizontal length of 40 40 into continue to watch this command line as I am giving the commands so that you can keep track of what commands I am giving so next I am giving 15 distance by keeping it in this direction next in this direction I need a distance of 30 which is all visible over here and then 30 so okay and then i have to go up and up i have to go by a distance of 10 so 10 mm here then horizontal distance again this time you can see here this distance it's not been given here but you can see here that uh, the same distance is given here so assuming that the object is symmetric you can see that the same length here will appear over here so i'm just going to take the same length that is 20 and I have to go up now this distance here has been given as 25 so 25 and here this distance 15 and then I have to come down by here you can see the height that is given as 15 and this distance here has been given to us as 30 so now I don't have to draw the same thing over it here once again so I'll just use a command that is mirror so we will be using offset command over here so we will just be using a mirror so we have to select all these objects so we'll use the uh, the blue rectangle to select them because green one will actually to select the objects which are inside as well so just select with your blue rectangle only these objects we will select type m i enter and then from the midpoint click first point is the midpoint to this midpoint and then press enter so this is going to create your front view so let us move it slightly in the middle next we will have to draw its top view so in order to draw the top view we will have to take it down let me take some projection lines and yes this is how I am going to draw it I am just going to trim extra stuff and the thickness of this is 40 so I will just going to draw offset of 40 of course offset is also going to be used here so line i can join these lines and, and then i just have to take the offsets to these points so offset o enter and I have an option here called through so i can just click on through and click on the line to which you want the parallel line and the point through which you want this offset to pass through you can see an offset is created so wherever i'm clicking it will pass through that point so it can go on creating all the visible edges first fine so when you see these these edges they will be visible you can if you want you can just take a look at the 3d diagram as well so this is how the object is appearing so when you see it in the top view so the top view is supposed to be this side okay. so when you see it in the top view this is how it's going to appear so there are only these many edges Whereas the edges which are here, these, this edge over here and this edge over here, that's going to be hidden. 
and you can see it is going to be hidden behind this particular face so we have to we have to draw it hidden accordingly so let us proceed so i have drawn a line passing through this 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 one and this one so i have taken offset through all these points and there is one more offset that i have to take from these two points but those edges will not be visible so o enter and through this line through this and through this so this line and this line they need to be hidden so i have created all the properties that i want for hidden solid and other edges if you want to know how to how i created this you can go and watch my other video in which i have explained how to create a template and the same can be used again and again so i'll just match the properties and first i'll start with the solid lines again i'm using a blue rectangle to make the selection so first i will convert all of these to visible and hidden edges so this one here and this one these two are going to be hidden and then okay so this is the top view of this next we have to go for the side view to create the side view i have to create an x1 y1 line and these lines i have to take its projections and i have to draw a circle from this intersection point up to this point I just have to trim it off fine then offset through offset through this point so offset of this through this point so i've got the same distance here at this point fine so from this point i'm just going to start drawing so between these two i'm going to get my diagonal so I'm just go on clicking with the lines trim off extra points whatever you don't need okay i'm just clicking line perpendicular and clicking one point here and another point over here same way i can continue with this one here and one here okay so my diagram is complete in fact uh, this line i have to trim it off here tr double enter trim it off here so this is my side view so i just have to make it solid so match properties ma enter and choose the solid and using blue rectangles choose all of these so all these edges are going to be visible because they are on the outer side but as this edge this edge it won't be visible so if you see it in three dimensions if you see it in three dimensions this face over here that's not going to be visible in the side view right so it's not invisible in the side view so if you just select it the edge you can see this edge here it's not going to be visible because this face is going to stop it from visibility so that particular line i just draw a position line and from this point to this point and then another line from here so i can select this line separately now i'll just have to make it hidden so this property you can apply over here and that's it that's how we have projecting this particular diagram here so we have also seen the isometric view of this and we were able to use it if you want to find the links to any of these if you want to find the links to the on shape 3d model or the diagram that is here or i mean of course in autocad a file also i'm going to upload to youtube drive and place the links in the description below so you can always take those drawings learn from it and as usual hit like if you like our video and stay subscribed to the channel for all the future updates Thank you once again.